Don't forget to subscribe to Steven C. Killer. Now get back in the grave, gut bag! What's up, everybody? Steven Z. Killer here and bringing you something new. Now, it's not going to be the first. Well, it is technically the first one. Uh, but this is actually something I wanted to try. I've been seeing a lot of people do these, and it I know it's a it's a fad, and a lot of people have been doing them. And I, I know, I know, it's not my normal thing, but it's something I wanted to try. And, uh, yeah. We're doing 100 plus characters from Dragon Ball Z tier list. Now, I did not make this tier list. I found it on the website on tiermaker.com. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to make it your own. Uh, like, if you don't like what I ch what I did with mine, and you want to make your own, and send me what you did on, on my Twitter, like, screenshot it and send it to me, I will definitely check it out. Um, but this is my opinion, and it might not be the same with everybody, but I am looking forward to trying to doing this. And there's a couple more I want to try. I've been seeing a lot of other YouTubers I like do them. And, uh, you know, it's something I won't do, like, too much. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind doing, like, one or two a week kind of thing. And if there's a tier list you guys want me to try to do uh, in particular, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, and you guys know me as a big freaking fanatic to Dragon Ball Z with my figures with my shirts with me dropping stuff uh, and uh, of course with my tattoo um, so yeah with me being a big Dragon Ball Z fan and everything how could I not try to go into this I've seen a couple of channels I like and I want to do a couple they've done too, but I haven't seen anyone really do this one. And I found this one uh, on the tiermaker.com. I just typed in and I wanted to try to find something and I saw a 100 character list. So yeah, that's what we're going to try to be doing today and have fun with it. It's going to be a fun tier list. There's a lot of characters on here and it does seem like there's quite a few Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, of course, Dragon Ball GT, and even some Dragon Ball Super characters. This is right here, and um, I will move that to this down there, so I stopped clicking that wrong button. Okay, so <laughs> as we can see, we got S tier favorites, A tier awesome, B tier solid, C tier good, D tier meh, E tier forgettable, and then of course trash. Just the fucking worst, why the fuck were you even in the series? Or part of the series in whatever way possible and we're going to go down here and here is a lot of the characters like I said I did not make uh, this myself but I can say for right now I already see two fucking things I need to fix right here why aren't you moving oh okay delay okay thank you you're so bad you're Okay, you're not gonna. Oh, I have to use the scroll. Okay. Trash. Trash. And I think this is actually a person that made this. I'm not sure because I think they're their icon. But this is a custom character. I don't know who they are, but I'm just gonna put them there. I think it's the person that made this. And if it is, you're not a DBZ character. Get your shit out of here. <laughs> no offense. But yes. We gotta start off with getting rid of the main trash, which was these two right here. When I saw them on the list, mm, no, stop it, get some help. Um, <laughs> and so I'm looking forward to doing this list. So first off, we have King Kai. King Kai, honestly, I'm just in general going to put him in the solid category because I love the character I love King Kai I like uh, he he was the biggest stepping stone and Goku uh, learning more about his heritage and also just in general brought Goku the ability to go Kaioken and using and learning and developing the spirit bomb 
So he was a key factor. He was also humorous. I love the whole King Kai and Goku relationship. Now he has, no, no pun intended on this, died down in the series um, as a main person, but he still warns Goku and, and others and stuff like that when threat is coming. So he is a solid character. Zarbon, I'm going to put you in the man. And you know, I see Dodoria right here. Let's just put him also in the man. I honestly didn't care for Zarbon or Dodoria. Oh my god, uh, Master Roshi's brother, I believe, from Dragon Ball, the Crane Hermit, I think? If I'm wrong, which is very, very, uh, rare of me, um, to be wrong, but it is more Dragon Ball, and I have seen Dragon Ball more than I have seen, like, GT, but I'm fucking blanking on the name right here, so I'm just gonna co go, honestly, kind of a forgettable character. Yeah, he did teach Tien, and also he sent Tien and Chaozu to go kill Master Roshi's disciples, aka Goku and Krillin. But him himself, he's also Mercenary Tao's brother. I no, that's right, he's not the Roshi's brother, he's Mercenary Tao's brother. Okay, my bad. Uh, but he just doesn't like Master Roshi in general. So, And he's kind of doesn't really do anything he doesn't mu really do much in the series like in dragon ball in general he doesn't fight himself so yeah kind of a forgettable character captain ginyu he had his moments he has a, a particular characteristic that makes me want to put him put him in good and meh but the fight between ginyu uh Taking Goku's body and, and everybody and a bunch of other things, honestly, respectable. I'm gonna put him in good. I'm gonna put Goku. I'm gonna put Ginyu in good. Launch. <sighs> I think I should just do it for the meme because Toriyama forgot about you. But honestly, you are a decent character. I'm actually gonna put you in go good as well. So as you guys can see, there's multiple different Gokus because of different forms of Goku. Um, so, each form has uniqueness. Now, this is the False Saiyan from the Lord Slug movie. And I did like... I did like it. It's a solid form that Goku uses. I'm gonna put it right here. Solid. Still pretty badass, but nothing like holy shitness. Uh... Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks, because there's even full rage uh, out trunks right here. I'm honestly going to put them in good. I'm going to put it both. I love the Goku Black Arc. That's for me when Dragon Ball Super really went off and did, did its own thing properly. Now, of course, there was the Hit and Goku fight. That was amazing. But let's just say the beginning of that arc was still kind of on the slow side. Mastered Ultra Instinct. I'm not saying the dub name. I'm saying this right now. This the, their choice on the dub name was stupid. M U I. Fucking love it. And then the one next to it. These two, honestly, the fights were probably honestly this right here was the pinnacle of super. Amazing. Future uh, future Gohan. Solid character. Solid. Not my favorite Gohan, but he's a, still a badass Gohan. He's the Gohan we wanted in Super. It's not the Gohan we got. It's not the Gohan we got. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Emperor Pilaf, you're gonna go right next to them. He's, he's solid as a funny, humorous, evil guy that Goku has to take on in Dragon Ball. And he even shows back up in Super, but he's still kind of a mad character to me. Nail, sorry, you're kind of a mad character as well. You have a solid moment, but then you lose your arm, and then you get fucked, and then you get absorbed into Piccolo. Sorry. Dragon Ball Super Broly movie Goku. And it has also Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So we're going to put both of those Gokus, because that movie was so goddamn good right there. Moro. Um, the Goatman himself. So, if you're not caught up on 
Dragon Ball Super manga, he is able to do a lot, and it's still not over. So he's not complete. I can't put him in favorite, but he is pretty goddamn awesome. I love the design. I like the story where it's going. It makes me excited. And I just love the fact that he brings out certain aspects that the Z fighters have not had or had a face before, which is pretty much magic. Well, actually, no, they did have to take on Bobbity and Boo, but more not as magic as this guy's doing. So that that's pretty cool. Harutagon, awesome design, awesome movie. He's just a solid, solid bad guy. Clown dude. I know he's a god of destruction. He's okay. He's good. Annie Raza. Honestly, I'm kind of putting... It's kind of forgettable. I'm going to put him in the forgettable. I, I thought the... Now, don't get me wrong. The five-way beam struggle between Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Android 17, and Frieza attacking this motherfucker was great. But does it? Oh, he's not forgettable. He's in man. He's in man. But him as a character himself, meh. I agree with that. Not forgettable because of that moment. Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyan. Yes, Evolution Blue. I think that's two Evolution Blues. No, that that's not. Okay. Well, anyways, both love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, PyCon. He's a solid. No, I would say he's good. He's good. Khalifa. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those guys. I like her. She's uh. She's definitely favorite. <laughs> Zeno, you're Zeno is good. Zeno's good. Majin Vegeta, yes, actually, I fucking love Majin Vegeta so much. Uh, Omega Shenron. Now, this is the first GT character we have to deal with, and I'm actually going to put Omega Shenron right here in solid. I absolutely love the design. I did, of course, it's GT. I did like the fact that uh, what he did and everything was story-wise solid. Definitely solid. Now, even though he's GT, I absolutely like Omega. I love the Super Saiyan Force and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm not remembering this guy's name from GT. I don't even fucking remember this guy from GT. He's just going to go in the forgettable. I know he's from GT, but I don't fucking remember who the fuck he was. The Grand Priest, I'm going to put him next to Zeno because he's an interesting character, but that doesn't make him a solid character. We don't know much more about him besides he watches Zen uh, Zenos now. Uh, so I'm going to put him next to Zeno to keep watching him. Uh, Janemba, yes. I'm going to put him right next to Herodagon because I love the design. Actually, I'm going to put him in front. I actually think he's a better designed looking character. Plus he has a fucking cool ass sword. <laughs> um, Lord Slug. Honestly, I'm gonna put him in meh. He's alright, but he's honestly a Demon King Piccolo ripoff. And he just copied most of it. He's honestly also his movie was kind of a just a quick cash grab. Jocko. not forgettable but it's almost I guess I'll put him meh I'll put him meh but he is still better than most of these other characters Fedoria and Zarbon honestly I would say he's better than that okay so okay here's another Super Saiyan blue Goku from the turn of power I'm just gonna put him right there I'm gonna honestly put most of the Goku's in, unless the form honestly well, only this form honestly goes to solid because it's only been used once and it was a movie not fully canon either Bojack oh my god Bojack yes Bojack I love that movie instantly yes get him up here Goku Black love Goku Black Goku Black is an amazing uh, character 
uh, honestly is one of the biggest feats of Super. So Garlic Jr., you're gonna go right next to Slug. You're okay, but I don't know if you're good. No, actually you are good, you are good. I think you're okay. Bardock, awesome character. Love the Bardock special, fucking good movie. Even his remake is damn, I, I, I don't mind the retelling of his story. Um, Android 13, kind of a meh. He's just an Android version of fucking Broly. <laughs> uh, cooler, honestly, solid. I love the Cooler movie. I'm gonna put both coolers here. Cumber. Oh, okay. We're even bringing Dragon Ball heroes into this. I didn't see this, and you guys are losing sight of the characters. All right, we're gonna just go. We're gonna go this, like this much up. Go up a little bit more. Uh, no, that's too much. Right there. Okay. So you're we we're still. This is still. Uh, S. So I'm gonna actually put Cumber, right and awesome. He is a he is a pretty badass character. He is technically another kind of Broly like character, but he has some cool aspects. Golden Great Ape. Meh. Bio Broly trash. Uh, baby. Okay. So honestly, I'm gonna put him also in solid. I like Super Saiyan 2. Um, baby. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Let's just put him right there. Rildo. Another character I didn't really care about, and I don't fucking fully remember him much in GT, so I'm just gonna put him in Forgettable. And honestly, Super 17 sucked too, so forgettable. <laughs> you can see what I liked in GT and what I didn't like based off of this. <laughs> Turles. Meh. Kefla. I love the fight. But I'm going to put her in awesome. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's staying there. Because <laughs> she's fucking hot. <laughs> uh, Weiss's sister, Vados. Solid character. Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to put him in meh. Kale. Honestly, I don't care for Kale too much. I honestly don't. I think she's okay. I like the fact that she's basically another Broly knockoff, but that's about it. Put her here. Okay, so now we have... Oh, here's another Kale. Let's just put her next to the other one. <laughs> uh, we have one of the Pride Troopers, the one who really didn't have many powers, but he was more of a strategist. Meh. Meh. Trash. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rebrand. Trash. Dispo. Honestly, I didn't care for Dispo too much, but he was okay. He was like the third in the in the trio of, of course, being Jiren T uh, Topo. Not top. Topo. Um, Go tanks. Awesome. That's pretty much what I put him at. Is this, like, the only Gohan we have? Okay, no. Okay. He's just gonna go meh. He's just gonna go meh. Although, I did like how much he did change. Like, what other Gohans do we have in here? We have that one. We don't even have Mystic Gohan in here. Really. I hope that's not supposed to be fucking... Mystic Gohan. He did better, honestly. It's sad to say this, even though the resurrection arc in Dragon Ball Super sucks donkey dick in animation. I think the fight between him and Frieza were w was way better and more dramatic. Um, but it, it didn't go to anything, so I... Nah, he's gotta be above Jocko. I'm sorry. He's gotta, even though he's trash suit Gohan right there. He's gotta, he's just, uh, no. He's 
just gonna put you next to your brother. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. All right, you're just gonna go right here, buddy. Yeah. Uh, you're just gonna go next to your teammate. All right, bro, you're, you're, we're, we're, we're gonna put you smack dab in between, because it basically goes here, here, here. Uh, you're the older brother, so you're gonna stay up front. <laughs> All right, um, this dude, still man, he had some moments by making Gohan reflect on what he just did on um, because he was the last survivor of his team, and then with him gone, his whole universe. And then he had a little locket with his family. That was kind of dramatic, but kind of man, trash, forgettable, meh. Rash. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Pan suck. I don't care for Pan and GT. Trunks as a kid. He's in front of Jocko. Meh. Oh, we gotta put our Lord and Savior. I'm sorry, Goku. We got. We we gotta. We gotta. We gotta make pecking order. It's fucking pecking order. <laughs> Super Saiyan Gogeta or Super Gogeta, right, right here actually, right. Oh yeah. Wait, where is he? Where, where is the better boy? Was this made before Dragon Ball Super Broly? No, because there's Broly right here. Do they really not have any? They don't have. They did that dirty. Okay. All right. Well. We're just gonna do this right here, right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. Love Super Saiyan 2, Team Gohan, my absolute favorite arc. Android 16, very, very solid character. Honestly, I'm gonna put him in awesome uh, because of what role he pulled uh, to lead to one of the greatest moments for me. Of course, Vegito, right here next to Gogeta. Honestly, I love, and I will say the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie kind of made me more of a Gogeta fan, but I would put Gogeta Blue in front of Vegito Blue. But between Super Gogeta and Super Vegito, I put Ve Super Vegito over Gogeta. <laughs> Broly! Yes, let's just... No, let's just... Let's just... Yeah, let's just put you right. Let's put you. Let's put you right, right here. That's that's a good spot for Broly. Uh, Goten. I'm honestly gonna have to say, where did I put your best friend? There's Trunks, right there. Okay. Original Broly. I actually like the original Broly. Um, especially the first movie. Uh, I know it's generic but I like Broly. I've always been a Broly fan. Fat Boo. Fat Boo. You're good. You're good Fat Boo. <laughs> Champa. Champa 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 Champa. You're gonna go right next to Fat Boo. Zamasu. Um, I'm gonna put him solid. Merge Zamasu. I'm gonna put awesome. In order, Goku Black, Merzumasu, Zumasu. That kind of feels right for me. I know they're technically all the same bean, but that's kind of how I feel. Kid Boo, yes. Solid. Do they have Boo Han? No, they only have Super Boo. Honestly, let's just. Why is there another Fat Boo? I just realized there's another Fat Boo. Just do that. This is probably. Let's just put all of these ones together, because that kind of goes. They're kind of. This is this is boo. I'm gonna say this is boo from Super, and if that's the case, that's the boo from Super. That's the boo from because uh, of art style. That's definitely Super art. That's Z art. So, yeah, I'm that much of a nerd. I know that. 
Uh, so these three will go together because, yeah. Vegeta, Saiyan Warrior Vegeta. Gotta put you right there, buddy. King Cole. Forgettable. Didn't really do much, just got killed. Nappa. Honestly? Good. I would say good, because he fucked up a lot of the Z-Warriors. And for that, he did a lot. Uh, Deborah. I'm gonna put him next to meh. Raditz. Honestly, the fight was good, so I'm gonna put him in meh. Majin Oob. Forgettable. He didn't really do he really didn't do much. Even with the fusion of Oob, he really barely amounted anything. Hercule. I'll put him next to I'll put him right there. He did stuff. Alright, this this trunks this trunks is awesome. Yes. Piccolo, yes. Awesome. Regular Vegeta. Chi Chi, trash. <laughs> trash. I'm sorry. Fuck Chi Chi. What she did. Fuck her. Uh, Master Roshi, good. I would say right up, right there. Yeah. Honestly, no, 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 no. That's dirt. That's doing him dirty. Let's let's put the master of uh, uh, the train both Goku right there. Yeah, let's put them both right there. Frieza, yes, Frieza. I'm gonna put Frieza here because he's still one of my all-time favorite villains. And you know, I'm gonna just put Cell where he belongs too, right next to Frieza. <laughs> uh, Tien, he's a good character, solid. I would actually put him next to his wife Boo. Launch. <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I love the Super Saiyan 4 designs. Like I said, I love them. Um. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put him right between both Super Saiyan Blues. <laughs> no, actually, I'm gonna put him behind because he's definitely not stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, <laughs> so let's see, Android 17, solid. Yes, he's MVP 17, but I would just give him a solid. Shout to meh, Android 18 because she's so fucking bay. Next to her brother. <laughs> Chilled. Forgettable. Jiren. Oh, Jiren, 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 Jiren. Solid. Solid. Story-wise, Jiren didn't really do, like, character-wise, he's okay. But he's just, he's just solid. I, don't, I just don't feel like I want to put him in awesome. He's, like, right in between awesome and solid. Fuck it, I'm gonna put him right next to Piccolo. Fuck it. Kid Goku. Yep. Where it all started. Demon King Piccolo. That was an all. We gotta put him next to Piccolo in general. Awesome fucking character. Topo with his God of Destruction powers. Next to Jiren. Beerus. Right next. Mm. You know, I'm gonna put him next to them. I'm gonna put him right there. Yamcha! He's actually man. Bulma. Solid. Can't go wrong with her. Hit. All right, hit, hit. Hit was one of the best things. I just like hit. I like hit. Oh, there is an ultimate Gohan. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Mystic Gohan right next to go this Gohan. Yes, these two Gohans. Yes! Whis. Awesome character. Love him. But I don't feel like... He's a mentor, but he's a, he's a higher mentor than these guys. Honestly, I'll put him in the front. 
just like the mentors here. He's another mentor of Goku. And our boy Krillin, who smashed the, one of the hottest characters ever. Definitely, definitely deserves... Not trash, not good, not solid, but awesome. Krillin is a goat. It doesn't get to bow and favorite, but he goes through everything. He tries hard, and he's died for his friends. And he's died trying multiple times. So, yeah. I just realized something. Before I go into this outro, I, I this is after the outro, but I'm, I, I, I gotta fix something. You guys see something missing? Like, in this list? They, 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 they forgot one particular solid character. It's definitely in... Mm, yes. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, mm, get, let me fix this. Let me fix this right here. Boom. Just... Let's just lower the size a little bit. Just, so she fits. Yes. Android fucking 21. Right there. Yes. Might make it a little bit bigger. All right, it was fixed. All right, well, that is all the characters. So yes, this is quite a long video, but it was definitely, well, a fun one. As you can see, there's a lot of S favorites. Um, I do like all these guys. Right here, forms and all. Here's some good awesomes. Solid. Good. Meh characters. Forgettable. And of course, the gutter trash. So, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys agree with a lot of my choices? Um, and uh, if you guys do decide to make your own version of this tier list, once again, tweet at me at Steven Z Killer and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and until next time guys, later. Thanks for watching this video everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and if you want more check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.